Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. I hope you are all doing well. The following video is for class 1, subject general science, chapter 8, plants and their types. As I have told you before, I hope you are all doing the exercises in the textbook and in your workbook. Let's begin with the lesson. You can see plants and trees everywhere, isn't it? Even in your house, you have small gardens where you have different pots and that different pots your mother would have planted. Different plants or uh, different climbers or different kinds of plants, isn't it? Plants are very, very important to us and it is present everywhere. Okay, and plants are supposed to be present everywhere around us. Now, some plants are big and some are small. You, uh, you might have seen big, huge plants in front of your house and small, uh, uh, big plants like trees, mango tree or banana tree. These You would have seen these trees are bigger in size and some plants like grass or uh, uh, some shrubs are smaller in size okay they exist in many different sizes also it is not like all the plants are big and all the plants are small all the plants exist in different sizes okay it can be big it can be small also some are bushes and some are shrubs bushes means you can see a group of plants okay it looks like a bush now some plants they live like alone also like shrubs okay they can grow together also they can grow alone also that is the speciality of the plants they are very very important to us isn't it now here in your textbook, we have a warm-up. Ria loves gardening with her grandfather. She knows so, uh, some things about plants. She knows which part is a, which plant is a tree and which is a shrub. Now, do you know the difference what is a tree and a shrub? No. We will be learning it in, in this video. Okay. So... Here you can see in the picture all there are different kinds of plants. Okay, there are plants which are growing on the tree. There are uh, there is a huge trees, right? And there are different small plants which are present, and they are in different sizes and shapes. And if one is big and one is small. In forests only we have lot of examples of plants which are big and plants which are small. Now, plants are living things. What are plants? Plants are living things like us. We are also living things, animals and plants. Uh, plant, they are called trees, herbs, bushes, grasses, vines, ferns and moss. Uh, let me read the spellings for you. T-R-E-E-S, trees. H-E-R-B-S, herbs. B-U-S-H-E-S, bushes. G R A S S E S grasses, V I N E S vines, F E R N S ferns, M O W -S, S moss. Now these are the different kinds of plants which you will be learning properly in detail in the later video. Okay. Now plants are important to us. What is the difference between the plants and animals? Plants cannot move and animals can move, isn't it? Animals can move from one place to another, but plants cannot move. They are always present in just one place. Now, we are going to learn about two kinds of plants. Okay, uh, these two kinds of plants are terrestrial plants and aquatic plants plants terrestrial plants uh, let me repeat the spellings t e r r e s t r i a l terrestrial plants a q u a t i c aquatic p l a n t s plants aquatic plants terrestrial plants and aquatic plants these are the two different kinds of plants okay now uh, <laughs> Let's see what is the aquatic plant and what is a terrestrial plant. 
first to begin with we are going to see what are the aquatic plants what are aquatic animals children the animals which live in water are called aquatic animals same way the plants that grow over the water or inside the water are called aquatic plants a q u a t i c aquatic p l a n t s plants the plants that grow over the water or inside the water are called aquatic plants now these plants are special because they grow in the water okay so the examples of the aquatic plants that you have to remember are lotus hyacinth water lilies etc these three are the good examples of the plants that live in the water lotus you all have seen lotus no i show you the example the first picture is the lotus second picture down which looks like lotus it is called the water lilies the third picture is the hyacinth h y a c i n t h these are the three examples of the plants which live in or inside the water okay as you can see in the picture itself it is floating on the water right and the flower is grown above the water so they are called the aquatic plants now if these are aquatic plants then what are terrestrial plants now terrestrial plants are the plants that grow in the land okay so the plants that grow in land are called terrestrial plants t e r r e s t r i a l terrestrial plants these plants are the ones that grow on the land most of the plants are terrestrial plants itself or we have very few aquatic plants now if you have watched uh, discovery channel or national geography channel when they show under the water you can see different kinds of plants which live in the water they are called aquatic plants terrestrial plants are the plants which live grow in the land okay so we are going to see what are the different types of terrestrial plants what are the different types of terrestrial plants we are going to see that what are the plants different plants that grow on land what are the different types of terrestrial plants trees shrubs herbs climbers creepers let me read the spellings for you t r e e s trees s h r u b s shrubs h e r b s herbs c l i m b e r s climbers c r e e p e r s creepers these are the five different kinds of terrestrial plants that are present on the earth now in the next video we will learn with the examples what are these kinds of these types of plants so in today's lesson what did you learn we learned about plants two different kinds of plants that is aquatic plants and terrestrial plants in terrestrial plants we we learn what are the different types of plants that is trees shrubs herbs climbers and creepers so in the next video we will learn properly in detail with the examples what are the different kinds of plants now stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children and do the exercises in your textbook do the exercises in your workbook take the help of your parents and take the help of your um, parents to do the exercises okay thank you children